Now, the one thing that I like about Dropbox is it takes you through the steps automatically when you sign up. So you just sort of follow along here. So I'll go ahead and I'll click download Dropbox. Now you can skip this step, you just ignore it, or you can follow along and I'll show you another option for downloading Dropbox. Let's take a look at that now. So what I'd like you to notice here is the note along the top that says get started by downloading Dropbox on your computer and a button that says download. So you could click on the word download at any time to download Dropbox onto your computer. But we'll continue with this first option. And then it says now click the installer to finish up. So I go down here to the bottom of my screen and I click on this installer. And then this message will pop up and um, you want to click yes, so I'll click yes. And um, it will do its thing and I don't know if you can see down here at the bottom, um, if I click on this, it'll it'll show um, what it's what it's working on here. So I'll come back when uh, when it's all done installing and tell you what to do next. So when it's done installing you see you get this message at the bottom of the screen. Please note that your message will say Dropbox installed but my message says Dropbox updated because my computer remembers the last time that I installed the software. I already have Dropbox so uh, you can see that that I have a whole bunch of files obviously I don't want to show you everything that I have but um, what's great is that you can you can access anything that you want uh, from your computer but actually what you're doing is you're you're saving it on the internet and then when you download it it makes it possible to um, to access to access everything from your computer. And you can do this from any computer, right? Um, you could have more than one computer and you could download Dropbox onto as many computers as you wanted and um, and and all of your files would, would be the same because they, they, they're all being saved online. They're all being saved in one location. It's just that you're opening them up in, in different uh, locations using different computers.